we've arrived at the perfect possible time to sit and watch this entire herd of elephants enjoying their breakfast drink. And I can see why James was avoiding them. I can smell that one of these bulls is in must. I think it's that massive chap over there. Yeah, that's him. Can see the slimy substance and wet substance all the way along his legs and that is uh, a little bit to the left sorry Senzo it's just uh, no um the elephant bull that's walking along there he's chasing the other males now there we go that's the bull uh oh time to go Okay, things I don't want to be in the way of. Two big male elephants on a damn wall. There we go. Sorry about that, everybody. Rapid, re rapid, rapid retreat. <laughs> Stop running at me! I'm not doing anything! Okay, we've got to sit tight now. Now we've got to sit tight. Uh-oh. Alrighty. Here comes the big bull. He's chasing another big bull. He's very much in bull, in must, I mean, in bull, same thing. There he goes, my big boy. Do not come and loom behind me. Fortunately, he is very much distracted by the other bull elephant. Oh, that was an interesting experience. We had to get out of the way. We absolutely had to. That big bull elephant is chasing another very similar sized elephant away from the rest of the herd. And that poor young elephant got caught in the middle of their conflict. Uh, we did not have anywhere else to go but away because otherwise we would have been trapped on the dam wall. And I'm gonna go back onto the dam wall in a little bit so that we can watch how that situation plays out. Just to explain that for new viewers, when an elephant bull is in must, they, their testosterone levels are 60 times the normal level and that makes them, as you can imagine, very interested in the ladies, one thing, and two, slightly more aggressive than they might otherwise be. And you, you want to come and give us nonsense because you couldn't push the other guy around. So you're all hyped up as well and you want to go and follow on and see what's going on. Well, don't come and cause nonsense with us now. Thank you very much. Yes, they went that way. You go that way too. Now what that means is that those sorts of bulls should be treated, all elephants are treated with respect. Those sorts of bulls should be treated with even more respect, especially because he very much wanted to go and pick a fight with that other male. He wanted to push him away from the females. And you can imagine they're feeling hyped up and just in general full of testosterone and they didn't have any way to get around us so we had to go backwards and generally speaking I prefer not to drive away from elephants but when they're involved with each other in that sort of sense you absolutely have to there he is he's back again whatever happened in that situation he's over there whatever happened in that situation it seems as though they've reached a bit of a truce and the two equally sized males are slowly but surely at peace with each other once again. Justin, yes, absolutely, the ground does shake when elephant herds run. Even when you've got two bulls chasing each other like that, then the ground does shake. And I once had a situation where I was being charged in the dark but I didn't know because I turned off all my lights because I, there was another vehicle coming towards me. I was being charged in the dark and the only reason I knew I was being charged was because I actually felt something. And I probably subconsciously heard doof, 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 doof. And then went very fast away from that elephant. That was a very unusual situation. Quite, quite extreme, quite odd for that to have occurred. But I've been with running elephants before and yes, the ground does shake. And you, mister, do you feel better now about yourself? You can see he's at the height of must. He's streaming from his temporal glands, so the glands between his eyes and his ears. And remember how I said his back legs were sort of covered in slime? And that's because in their height of must, they actually constantly dribble urine. Constantly. And you'll find that their back legs are soaked, and it acquires quite a green tinge. 
and a bit of a white foamy tinge as well in this case and it stinks I could smell him all the way across the waterhole <sighs> yes you cool off you cool off now don't go and chase the hippos now just because you're in a mood uh, he's after the ladies he was just making sure that that other male knew his place quick quick swim and a quick splash of water and up he goes having well and truly established his dominance in this particular situation no wonder all the elephants have been so unsettled this morning there's a big must ball that's the male that he was chasing around almost but not quite the same size as him and there comes the young male that got caught up in all of it they don't seem to want to get their tails wet I've noticed all of them do that which is peculiar because usually elephants aren't that bothered by that I think it's more just the, the the stress and angst of the situation but it really does look as though they don't want to get their tails wet it's hilarious it's actually more to do with body language and the fact that there's conflict between the various males there you 